Russia has traditionally had influence on the countries of Central Asia. The annexation of Crimea and hostilities in certain areas of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, studied by Moscow, made it clear to Asian states that Russia is an aggressor, dependent on which could result in the loss of territories. Since the beginning of a full-scale war against Ukraine, some of the Kremlin's former allies have decided to reorient their foreign policy towards the West. There are different gradations here. Let's just say that with Tajikistan especially, where there is a large contingent of Russian troops, and with Kyrgyzstan, there in principle are quite sensitive relations. When there are overlords and vassals, with other countries it is more difficult. Of course, with Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. France and Germany are among the countries that, sensing Russia's weakness, have stepped up their diplomatic visits to Central Asian states. Experts said not to forget about China, a strong player in the region that can guarantee security. The weakening of Russia is felt, but at the same time there is no complete replacement for Russia's withdrawal from the region and its replacement by China. That is, this replacement is not synchronized in time and space. Russia is withdrawing military politically, withdrawing from large arms supplies. Due to the war against Ukraine, due to large losses, it's leaving the arms market in Kazakhstan. China comes first, but China is in no hurry to promise any military assistance or assistance in the fight against destabilization in the region. The Kremlin's favorite lever of influence, gas, may no longer work in Central Asia. After the war in Karabakh region ceased, supplies of gas from the Federation are no longer critical for the region. And the Transcaspian Gas Pipeline project, which will ensure the transportation of natural gas from Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan through Azerbaijan and Georgia to Turkey and further to the member countries of the European Union, can be implemented. Russia has fewer and fewer tools to keep Asian countries in its orbit. New favorable conditions are being created, allowing countries to enter the markets of the European Union and world markets through the Southern Caucasus. On the other hand, China is also increasing its economic presence. Since 2019, there has been a Chinese military base in the Pamirs in Tajikistan, patrolling the border with Afghanistan. Experts remind that some Central Asian countries, despite the threat of secondary sanctions, continue to help Moscow bypass Western restrictions. Therefore, it is critical for the Kremlin not to lose influence in the region. This region is strategically important for it, and as Russia viewed them as its faithful submissive vassals, it views them now in the same way as well. Here, in principle, its position has not changed, and the only thing it reacts painfully, of course, in particular, is when Kazakhstan tries to pursue some kind of more independent policy. Despite the threats of propagandists and attempts at blackmail, Russia's former allies are leaving its influence one by one, and the continuation of a full-scale war against Ukraine only aggravates Putin's situation, experts assure. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.